Hello everybody, welcome back to WarioWare Inc. In this episode, we'll be covering Dribble's fifth stage, which introduces a new mechanic. And we have intro. Round, I'm going to be silent so you can listen to it. Enjoy. as if there was a speed up, but there, it doesn't actually speed up, it actually slows down. Like, that these type of stages appear most in this game actually. Three stages uses this mechanic. Every future game would only use this mechanic once. Time to move on to the boss stage. Which is, mainly enough, a generic space shooter. I should also note that here the theme is sci-fi. Here the theme is sci-fi, which I uh, haven't had been able to notice or note yet because the uh, friend is speaking while listening to that music. So that you can all enjoy it. What is that? What the hell? Is that bad or...? Yeah, it's like there's something that's not like my voice. Strange. So... Anyways, this is 
the actual true boss of the game. It's the boss of the boss stage. Yeah, boss section, everyone. It has various forms, which is very unbelievable to do. So, yeah. There's not much left to it. After the first round though, the music gets messed up and starts looping at random intervals. Like, see, it just switched from the way it was on the second round to the third round. And then back. So, maybe that's not a good thing, maybe that is a go. I really don't. Easiest micro game ever would be that one. Just that anyways. Mario wins by doing absolutely nothing. Nope. That's not gonna work. That was so slick. And this is often also considered to be the easiest one because you literally just need to mash the left button. Right button. Eh, right button. Oh yeah, this is one of four stages that repeat um, the in some of the intro microphones, as like you probably already know, but but that but I'm the one who's actually telling you that this is the only time you'll be seeing these again. Mind blow. So, I really do not like this boss stage on higher levels. Because you have to be fast in these, in these later levels. The one they they do not allow you to screw around with the upgrades. You cannot miss an upgrade or else you're gonna lose. They also introduce a new variant of the enemies. Red ones. Yet. Guess what they could do? Yeah, they shoot. They can shoot you. Which can kill you instantly if you don't have that shield. Which can be really annoying because half the time they really just show up in like huge batches of them. Like, we're talking like several at a time. So you have to kill these guys very quickly if you want to have a chance of surviving. Anywho, the boss actually itself isn't very all that different, except for the fact that it occasionally can shoot, also shoot, which gives you more stuff, more things that you have to avoid other than just the, the shield itself. Right? In the first level, that was the only thing that could actually harm you, although it doesn't come in contact with the other ball inside it, and the balls have a midway for you. Yep, 
Yep, that's very efficient. One, two, three is the most efficient way of defending your place. Come on. See, look, that was a, that it was no problem. Even on, and this is level three difficulty. That's why I feel it's way too easy. Still got it. Yep. Hey, it's Nintendo! Hi, Miyamoto! Stop, drop, roll. Throw the red guys without even allowing you to get any upgrades whatsoever. At least in the second stage, you would at least have your third upgrade by the time you ran into these guys, so you weren't able to quickly dispose of them. Not the case. What is with spinning in video games? Anyways, the new unique mechanics of this game is that. After, after, the, after the third boss stage, instead of just continuing to speed up, it actually just goes one speed higher than it originally was. Doesn't mean the music gets fixed though. See you guys now for the ending. And yes, I didn't manage to actually get that score once.
to collect the fare. And here we are once again. I've seen this place once again. And I will see you guys on the next episode. See you guys then.